Welcome! In this guide we'll be talking about Rock the Cradle and how you can speedrun it, get your runs down to between 3 and 5 minutes and reliably finish it. There are three variants to this in terms of where the IT room spawns. We'll be going through each of those, but first let's figure out the perks that we need to do this on Overkill Solo to get it reliably done. So the perks that you're going to need, there's actually four of them that are kind of required to do this reliably. First and foremost, we have the Infiltrator. We basically just want Quick Fingers. But in order to get Quick Fingers, we are going to need the initial perk. So you're going to need two points here. And the second is down in Grifter, where we do want to, where we're going to again need the base perk. Gives us uh, Rush Evil within one meter of a civilian, which allows us to, you know, one hit lockpick doors. And we also want Social Engineering. As long as we are unmasked and have Rush, Employees will ignore us performing illegal actions like, you know, snatching the key card of a guard. So we want these four perks as a base, but having walk the walk here makes you undetectable by cameras in private areas. Hacker to, you know, make a security camera loop his footage. Both of these are nice, but you really don't need anything more than those four perks to reliably, you know, speed run this, uh, this setup. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to uh, jump into a uh, basic run and then we'll see how we uh, how we do. I'll be showing each of the three variants and explaining the process along the way. And at the end, you'll be seeing uh, some runs without, you know, explanations. But as I said, let's jump into it. We'll be going through each of the three variants of uh, the uh, heist itself and how you can reliably get them done. Once you're in, the first thing you want to do is uh, run by civilian. This gives you a rush, which allows you to just lockpick in front of these guys. Wait for a second. If you run immediately, they will sometimes uh, catch you, force you to go back. Go into this room on the right. Watch out for the cameras here. Stay to the right. It's usually a safe bet. Get into this room right here. There's another camera. But we want to open this door, back up a little bit, sprint forwards, crash behind the bar, go around this, snatch the card, open the door, and the reason why we're backing off up in that room is because sometimes they will actually walk in front of this curtain instead of behind if you uh, if you're a little bit too quick. So next up, sneak down the stairs there. Pretty simple and straightforward. Get into the room here on the right, the electrical facility, which is basically the fuse room. And in here, you're gonna want your mask up. Shoot the vent. And our next order of business is figuring out where the uh, crypto wallet is or the IT room. It can either spawn there there or over there which is where it is signified by the guard it actually straight up tells us where the crypto wallet is and the next step is just getting into that room now keep in mind that no matter where it spawns there's always going to be a uh, a vent next to it in one of the rooms in this case the bathroom we just go in shoot out the vent jump up and then we look at uh, which switch we need to pull 430 white pretty straightforward we're going to be making our way back this guard here can make this a little bit painful, but in this case, we can just sneak down here past him. Pretty simple. And that guy is probably one of the more annoying guards because he's below the uh, the, ma the manager's office or the accountant's office. The other guard that you might have a little bit of trouble with is actually going to be below us. This civilian too is something that could give you trouble if you're moving a little bit too quick. So just be a little bit careful once you uh, get back up here. Next up, 430 white. You just flick this. Now we want to make our way to the accountant's office. Now use the computer in the accounting office and, and to reset the scanner. We can actually do a little bit of a cheese here. Because uh, if you're sprinting here and the guard downstairs hears it, he'll walk upstairs, which will make your life a little bit easier. But yeah, once we've done this, the crypto wallet should be ready for pickup. Again, it's a fairly quick speed run. Yes. We're doing it a little bit slower to be on the safe side. Get over there and we want to see if the, where the guard is. Because if he's uh, below there, sometimes he will spot you. So just be a little bit mindful of that. Pick up the crypto wallet. Next up is just getting it to extract. There's two potentials. This time we've got the bar extract. Uh, there's also one over here on this side, over there. Which is uh, probably the easier one to use. And again, the guard here is a tad annoying. But once he goes to this location, we can sneak uh, by him down here. Civilians will potentially spot you too, unless you get uh, into cover. So just keep that in mind. Now, to get over to the bar, I like to go this way. There's a very safe route where you can actually go up above. If you're quick enough. Again, civilian can be a bit of a problem. 
but generally you'll be fine it, as long as you take it a bit slow. The guard down there, as you see, is a bit of a troublesome individual as well. And there are basically two ways that I prefer to, to take getting over there. We'll be going over both in uh, different variants. But you basically make your way across. Again, keep in mind that civilians will walk back and forth here. So we can see one coming right there. Make sure you check that before you go. The lead guard is walking over here, but since he's not in position yet, we can just sneak out. There is also a guard under us here somewhere. I can't see him right now, so we'll just drop down. Pretty simple. Deposit the crypto wallet. And now we want to make our way up to the extract, which was above where we came from. Now, that's the gun that you need to be a little bit worried about. He came back, but no matter what, you just want to make your way into this room. Shoot through this vent. And jump back up. Shoot it through here. This is the vault, but don't feel like it's worth uh, to loot it, really. Now, there will be a camera in here, and potentially there will also be a guard. You can just crouch walk up to the camera. And once the guard starts kicking the elevator, just sneak behind him. And yeah that through you want to keep that door open so you have a hiding spot and again keep yourself behind that camera now that guard can be very problematic if you do it like this because he will come back out as you can see he is already being a bit problematic and that does leave you a little bit exposed so could be a good idea to just kill him to be on the safe side we also have the uh, guard lead there. guard over here but generally sneaking back up isn't too much of a concern if he spots you just hide for a little bit and then you move over. Next up, again, it's just crossing here. Try and be mindful of civilians. If you don't see any, it should be fine to run. And of course, before you extract, use your utility, your gadget, your bag in order to, you know, level up your challenges a little bit. That is basically how we do that variation. I'll be showing the different ones now as well. And in this case, it took five minutes. We did take a little bit slow here to explain. But as long as you get a little bit more, uh, you know, learn a little bit more, a little bit more experience with it, you're going to get your runs down to about three to four minutes reliably. For now, though, we'll have a quick look at the other two variations of the spawns and how you can handle them. For version two, I've been trying to uh, get it to spawn for the last uh, two, maybe three hours, but it just refuses. The guard will spawn here next to the door. The room will be right here. So I'll just show you how we would run through it uh, without a guard. So it's still pretty straightforward. You still want to get into the accounts office. You are going to want to go through this door. There's going to be a camera here. We just sneak past. Shoot this vent. The uh, whiteboard will be right here. Then we go back, of course, because we're going to have to go and click the switches. Again, we're just doing this to kind of show how it would work. Um, get back here. Click the correct switches, head back, again kind of forced to do this because it refuses to spawn, uh, but I have seen it before so it does exist. And then we go back on the computer, we get uh, the reset, head back down here, be wary of the camera, go in, get the drive, jump back up this way, and you can go out the front door, there's nothing stopping you, but the easier path here, unless of course you have that extraction is probably going to be to just jump up here and run along like so till you get to you know over here you have the other extract this would be cross here just make sure there's no civilians around you'll be fine like so then we drop down chuck the drive in go back up uh, through the uh, system here shoot through this vent and just go up like we would normally do but yeah refuse to spawn so uh, we're doing this more of a simulation wow, of how you yeah. would have to do it That's a nice vault. but uh, it is what it is again keep in mind that the guard the that is uh, around the corner here could be a bit problematic if we're unlucky with them so like so you can actually sneak past him by just yoloing like this would not really recommend it though if he starts moving you are going to get spotted so take your time but yeah, we do it like this, and then we just need to run past, and then we're basically Guard. done with it. Thank you. So, it's not anything, you know, necessarily difficult or anything like that. That's the civvy, get just tell him to get down, then you extract, and that would be it. So yeah, sorry that I didn't have a proper run of this one. 
but this should be a fairly decent dry run to give you an idea of how this would work. What we've hit here is the God. third variation. And for this one, this gun is going to be extra annoying. But if the IT room is spawned over there, you're going to have to want to make your way back over. You want to do that quick, though, because the lead guard is going to walk down at one point. So just get over here, shoot through the vent as usual. And we want to keep an eye out for any guards down here, any civs. There is none. We can drop down. The guard that patrols here has been replaced by this guy, so there shouldn't be any. But best check anyways. Go through the vent. Figure out which uh, room we're going to need to go in. And it's 250 blue. Sorry, which fuse, not which room. 250 blue. There is a camera down here that we'll have to, you know, worry with. But as you can see, the account is over there. Which means that this room should be empty unless, of course, a guard boy comes in. We are going to take advantage and just take him down. Was a bit risky there with the camera. You can, of course, do it a bit slower. But taking this guard down is going to make uh, life a lot easier for the long run. And because we know this room is empty is why we're taking him out. Because we can then just easily hide him in here. And as I said, it's just to make your life a little bit easier. You don't need to take him out. But it does make uh, going back and forth a lot more, you know, calming experience, so to speak. So we needed a 250 blue, unless I'm misremembering. We'll see in a sec. All right. I did remember. Down. Next now up, same as we did last time, go to the, uh, the accounts office, reset the scanner with the computer, and then we're going to have to make our way back over. So you can imagine that this is the longest run because of where it spawns, but again, as long as you play a little bit uh, safely, it's not really a big concern. You can still make open. it work just Get as fine. Run back over. Now, because we killed that guard, we can make it a little bit easier for ourselves and just drop down. And the only thing we need to be worried about in this case is that camera. I also would advise not sprinting because the guard could just, you know, decide to walk in. And pick up the drive. We figure out where the extract is. It's over there, which is the easier one. There's no real guards over there. So in this case, we can just walk by the camera, go back the way we came. And uh, that should make this a foregone conclusion, basically. Once again, we can just leave that door open. Give us a nice little hiding spot for civs. And, you know, in case anyone sees us. Guard Keep in mind there. that the guard over there can be a bit of a problem for this. He will spot you if you walk out and try and throw it. So we're just going to wait for him to move. And... We deposit done, and now we, we just had to the escape for. pretty straightforward sure again it is a bit more of a difficult run this third variation but as long as you take it slow uh, as long as you get rid of that the uh, guard downstairs it basically opens up to pretty calm and chill experience once again drop your extra gadget utility get that challenge projects going and then just get out Pretty simple and straightforward. So in this case, let's see how long we used. We spent uh, about four minutes. That's still very acceptable for a run where we explained. Could probably have shaved off 20 seconds by just full sprinting, but as you can see here, even the, you know, quote unquote hardest uh, configuration you can actually get done in about four minutes. So it's for pretty quick money, easily speed run solo, no real stress, <laughs> so to speak, once you get used to it. So feel free to, to take this guide and use it as you see fit. Now, we'll be going over now a few of uh, the failure states, basically. What should you do if you get spotted early, if uh, something goes wrong, if you, you know, don't lead, like the lead guard, things like that. So we'll see how you can handle some of the issues that happens. If things go wrong and the alarm goes before you get the crypto wallet, or even before you get the crypto wallet to extract, I'd say just restart, because most of the value is in the crypto wallet. If the alarm goes, your extract or you know your drop off here is going to vanish and as a result you are going to have to assemble a cage now that cage needs three banks they all land outside and an overkill this is just gonna it's just not gonna happen if you get that assembled unless you are very very good at the game so in those circumstances i just recommend you restart but let's say that a hypothetical you manage to get it delivered just barely people are already you know angry you know alarm is gonna go 
you're not going to make it up to that extract before the alarm goes off. So we're going to have a look at what happens when, uh, well, when that happens. In this case, we just want to find any guard. And we want to shoot him in the back of the head. And this should allow the alarm to go. Once that happens, you basically want to, as quickly as possible, make your way up to the top floor again. Just run. And you want to shoot out the skylight again as quickly as possible, because this is going to allow for the extra chopper to come in. And it's going to take a little bit of time, honestly. You're still fine, though. You can just hide over here, which is what I usually do. Uh, there will potentially be a bulldozer coming from that side. The extract will be right there. So that bulldozer might very well end up, you know, being a bit of a problem. But as long as you get into the extract zone, you'll be fine. And you will usually get kicked in the head by a cloaker at some point as well. But as I said, just play it safe. Hide over here in the corner. And sooner rather than later, the extract is going to pop. You just run, get in. And then you leave. Again, it's basically the only failure state that you can kind of do. If you have guards, you're going to have to deal with them. But it uh, looks like the servers were having a little bit of an issue there. But yeah, just get to the extract, get out that way. You still get a little bit of money, 340000 in our case here. But it's still, you know, a decent chunk. You'll still be working on your challenges. So I recommend that. Again, if you have any other issues, just restart. Let's say that you made an error, the alarm goes before you even get to the crypto wallet uh, and you're going to have to restart because it's just so early, it's overkill, you're going to get killed. You can actually go and have a look at the whiteboard and check which fuse it is. In this case, 115 white. And when we now vote to restart and restart this heist, it's still going to be that same fuse. So you can actually kind of cheese it this way if you have failure, uh, if you can't get out with that failure, if it's complete needing a restart. Go and check the whiteboard for the fuse and you can use that on your next run. Well, basically, once you vote to restart heist, it'll be that exact same fuse. So once we restart here, it'll be 115 white again. VIP pass. So interestingly enough here, as you can see, lead guard with endless radio spawns. We've actually got a mark right it's here. Guard. And there is a way to actually get around his endless radio spawns. And that is take him as a human shield. The floor. And then do a takedown. And you're gonna need the perk that allows you to uh, answer radios while doing takedowns. But that actually answers his radio and makes it so that he is now silenced, basically, for the rest of this run. So I'll be running it till the end. We'll keep him on the floor. You can see now 225. And we'll see if we get that, uh, if that radio alarm goes down or if it stays as it is. And I'll have to see if I can actually move these human shields here without the dancers over there and realizing. But yeah, we'll have a look and see if that lead guard actually does, you know, give us any more trouble or if you can just knock him down with a takedown. Again, you're gonna need the respond to uh, radio while doing takedown simultaneously to get this to work. Here we are, six minutes into the heist. Uh, we still have that same hostage. This, uh, we still have an uh, radio alarm to go and our lead security is still sleeping on the floor so it does work we can actually see that other hostage over here too uh, just take down with answering radio at the same time allows for this to happen which is one way you can get away from uh, the lead guard on missions where he's more annoying generally not really a problem on this one but uh, as long as you have takedowns you can actually remove them with uh, impunity okay Clubs the drive is to the wiped and loses all the value if the alarm goes off. Good, you're inside. The crypto wallet is kept in the IT room, reachable from the VIP area. Find a way to get in there. What was that noise? That's the entrance to the VIP area. The bouncer won't let anyone pass without an invitation. Maybe you can find one in Rifkin's office? Or try to distract the bouncer somehow. Time to hustle.
What's that noise? The electrical floor plans indicate that if you flip the right switches and cut power to the IT room, the scanner can be forced to reset. Alternatively, find the club's accountant and get him to open the storage unit for you. But yeah, that is basically it. As you can see, as you get more experience, you can even run one of the hardest setups here where you're going to have to run back and forth a lot in about three minutes. A couple of close, close, close calls here, really, but honestly, uh, not really once you get a little bit uh, used to it. They might seem very close, but again, it's just learning the limits of the map. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, guide. If you have any questions, anything that's unclear, feel free to uh, ask me and I will respond in the comments. Feel free to take advantage of this. Again, it is probably the quickest money you can make. Road Rage is pretty quick as well, but this is soloable. It's quick, it's reliable, and uh, as I said, it's a pretty chill experience. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.